Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, August 20th. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. And we leave bright and early Wednesday morning. Um, we have our one way tickets. So today is a uh, packing day. We've, we've packed. Third time. This is the third time. <laughs> we've packed and unpacked and packed and unpacked and We've been spending a lot of time since we've been here in Texas doing administrative stuff and visiting family and friends and uh, sweating in the heat. <laughs> and uh, But now we wanted just to kind of let people know what packing to move overseas is like. Um, so this is like a... Uh interjected this is the third time we've packed um so the first time we packed we just kind of threw stuff in suitcases to get it out of the way the second time we did it with preparation we were trying to make sure that we weren't overweight um in any of our suitcases because that's really um you get charged a lot of extra money um and so but what we've realized is that we've packed and everything weighs 50 pounds except we still have a lot of stuff left so today is just going to be going back through everything taking everything out and just going back through it again and the reason that we were going to try and get it to six suitcases um, one's going to go as a carry-on and then we're going to have to actually pay for a couple of extra on um, on our second airline the one that takes us to Rome um, because we just can't yeah <laughs> we we kept out a lot of stuff um, I know we've talked about shipping um, and we did ship a lot of our big stuff but because of the way shipping is right now we weren't sure how long it would take for us to get our um, items on the other side we have to go we have to get to Italy we have to get our um, Permesso di Sojourno and then we can have them ship our stuff so it's gonna take a while so we kept out like a few of our kitchen things we kept out um, a few just like other stuff that we thought we might need winter, um, clothes. winter clothes we had to keep out yeah we have we had to keep out winter clothes and summer clothes um, and so our coats yeah there's a lot um, so even though we've made a couple of trips already and taken a bunch of stuff, we still have quite a bit left. And so yeah, and just so people today. know, uh, Permesso di Sojourno that Sandra mentioned, we had to get a visa, and so we've got our Italian visa in the passport. But then when you get to Italy, you have to apply again with basically immigration to have a permission to stay. I don't. I don't really know that's just the way it's done I don't I, I would think the visa was your permission to stay but it's not uh, so the permesso we can't even tell our shipping company to ship the stuff until we have the permesso in our hand so it, it could easily be December before we get our stuff it, it could be <laughs> even more than it, that <laughs> it could be worse than that so yeah we just didn't want to go to Italy and buy everything uh, in a rush because you know we just didn't want to so that's why we have so much stuff so yeah so we're gonna kind of pack and see how it goes and we're gonna probably leave some stuff behind um, but that's okay so uh, and oh yeah so, <laughs> so here's so, the other thing we've been working on let me let me hold him so this is our bird Rosie as Sandra mentioned, the two airlines. So there aren't a lot of airlines that will take a pet, but to take a pet bird, it's not easy. <laughs> so we had to buy one ticket on Delta from here to Boston, uh, from Dallas to Boston, because Delta will take a pet bird in the cabin uh, domestically. They will not do it internationally. They'll take dogs and cats internationally, but not a bird. I, I don't know the reason for that. Uh, so then we have to fly ETA Airlines, which Airways, which is uh, used to be Alitalia. It's called ETA now. And so we'll take that from Boston to Rome. We didn't want to stop in another country because then you have to understand their rules for pets. So it's it's been hard enough. <laughs> that, that's like an entire video on its own of how to get a bird 
overseas, but he's 19 years old. He's going with us. So anyway, our bed is completely covered with suitcases. We'll show you what it looks like in, this is our Airbnb we're in. And um, you can see the craziness that we're gonna be going through for the next couple of hours. <laughs> all right, we'll see you then. All right, so, all right, so here is our bed. That is five suitcases and a duffel bag. That is the giveaway that we already have. And it's gonna get bigger. Um, yeah, that's gonna get bigger. So we don't have just a ton left that we have to fit in this, but we've got to do it. So uh, this is where we're starting. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here we are. Here we are back. Um, we're in mid progress. We have kind of consolidated one bag and this is our very <laughs> uh, crude way of Seeing how much they weigh. It's gets... nine pounds overweight. Okay, so nine pounds overweight. So again, we will open it and figure out what to take out. So it's it's not a it's not it's not full. Um, it's just the weight is a big problem. So anyway, here we go. Okay, here we are. Weight number two. Repack number two and. Three pounds overweight. Uh, okay, we're getting closer. Here we go again. All right, here we go. Weight number three. <laughs> and it's about two and a half pounds. We so just keep taking things, taking things out, and moving stuff around. Well, the and the problem is this suitcase is big, so it can hold a lot. So it's just going to have to go not very full because. It holds too much. Okay, you. number four. Hopefully this will do it. And? 48 and a half pounds. Okay, we're under 50. Ah! Okay, so <laughs> that's <We're> done. done. <laughs> uh, we're both really tired right now and just over this. Uh, just a, a note to anyone that's doing this, moving internationally, <laughs> don't take as much as we're taking. Um, well, hopefully you're, hopefully you won't have to, yeah, bring a bunch of other stuff besides just your clothes and personal stuff. Because that's, I think that's what got us. I mean, that yeah. stuff is heavy and yeah. And it is a bit different because we are moving permanently. It's not a vacation home. Yeah. It's our permanent home. So, you know, we have 30 plus years of married life stuff and uh, there's not going to be a storage uh, shed left behind or anything like that. It's So we have gotten rid of a ton of our, of our things, but uh, there's still a lot. So... Um, just <laughs> pare it down as much as you can. Yeah. But if it's something that's important to you, you just got to take it. Yeah. You know, we're, we're both sentimental people. So, yeah, you just have to make room for the things that are like, you look at things through different eyes. I feel like you look at it as like all these things that we brought with us from California here, we were like, Oh yeah, we got to take this. And now we have a, like a whole pile of stuff that we're going to give away plus all the stuff we've already given away to family. And so I think that, um, you know, you do look at it through different eyes when you are at that point where it's like, okay, this is what we've got. So, um, okay, so we're gonna just... Yep, so here is where we are. Those are four completely finished. Ready to go. Ready to go, except for the really huge one, which is going to also have Sandra's pillow in it. Because I'm cause, picky. Because <laughs> her pillow is that important. And then in here, that is two more suitcases waiting to be finished. Uh, the black one only has one thing left to go in it. The red one is for just all of our clothes we're going to be wearing over the next four days and a few other little things. And then our backpacks. So that is it. 
and hopefully you guys learn from what we're experiencing. So we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>